In the previous video, I explained how to configure Bluetooth for management on a Catalyst 1200 or 1300 switch. In this episode of Cisco Tech Talk, I'll show you how to configure the client side for Bluetooth management using a Windows computer. Since this is part two, I'll get right to it. In order to establish the connection from a laptop that is running Windows 10, right-click on the Bluetooth icon on the taskbar and select Join a Personal Area Network. Here, click on Add a Device. As you can see, the Bluetooth adapter in my laptop is doing a scan of the local area for Bluetooth devices that it can detect. The Catalyst 1200 switch that I just configured is showing up. After selecting the switch, click Next to continue. Here, enter the pin and click Next once again. Now the device is being added. However, I'm not able to manage the switch quite yet. To do that, open the Network and Internet Settings. Scroll down and click on Change Adapter Options. Here, you can see all the adapters and the Bluetooth network connection. Just as I assigned a static IP address on the switch, a static IP address needs to be assigned on the client side as well. It must be within the same subnet. To do this, right-click on Bluetooth Network Connection and go to Properties. Here, go to IPv4 and type the IP address. I'll use an IP address of 172.16.1.10. Specify my subnet mask and click OK. Once you've set the IP settings, right-click on your device. Connect using an access point and you'll see the connection is successful. When you navigate back to the switch, you can view the syslog notification that the Bluetooth link is up. After refreshing the page, you can view the state as connected and the connected device name will be displayed. For this example, it is the host name on my laptop. After establishing a connection, open a web browser and type the Bluetooth IP address. For this example, it is 172.16.1.100. The switch login screen will appear. Enter the username and password. Click Login. This user interface will look the same as when you log into the switch over a wired connection, even though it's a Bluetooth connection between my laptop and the switch. Alternatively, you can use PuTTY to manage the switch, provided that you have enabled SSH access on it. By default, SSH access is not enabled. Once that's set, open the PuTTY application, enter the same IP address, and click Open accept the key, and then log in with the switch credentials. You're all set with Bluetooth on your Catalyst 1200 or 1300 switch. You configured the Bluetooth feature and can manage the switch via the web UI, a supported browser, or the CLI. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.